copy and paste. Sometimes, sometimes the easiest solution is the hardest. Or whatever. No, sometimes the best solution is the easiest. Sometimes the best solution is the easiest. Sometimes the easiest solution is the hardest. Classic quote. <laughs> You, how could you? You're no longer Hansy Boy. That would be very unhancy Boy of him. Victor, that wasn't very <coughs> Hansy Boy of you. I've I've thought about doing one where they smoke weed. Yeah, I'll draw them smoking weed. <laughs> to extend your entire arm just to light.
You know what's funny? Cartoon characters smoking weed. <laughs> That's funny. You know why that's funny? Because it's still funny. <laughs> It was funny once. Why not still? Right, like, I think you can't say it. You can't say it's not funny anymore. Because how could you how could you say it was ever funny? If, to say it's not funny anymore. Either a cartoon character smoking weed is funny or it never was. <laughs> That's how I feel. It's like, oh it's not funny anymore? Well what changed? What made it not funny now? The fact that you're not 17 anymore? I don't think that's why. Actually, needs to, needs to reconfuculize that hair. Look at how it pops. We just like fix this part. Evil monkey. I'm gonna cheat. Should have probably just done that in the first place, but I think you know there's also a couple other effects I was trying at the time when I decided that, like this one of him with like with some paint strokes too. Uh, you know, I thought maybe every frame would. Well, I don't know. It's, you know, maybe just too late for this scene, but not for the future. So, like, I mean, look at how there's there's a pop right there. Bothers me a little bit, but not maybe not enough to want to refuck, reconfuck, rectifuck. Yeah, it does actually bother me. I can rectifuck it. Same layer. Well, that actually makes it kind of easier to do this. Yeah, just 
fixing that one frame a little bit better. They smoke weed! Funniest cartoon kids I've ever seen! Yup. Funniest you've ever seen. Wow, the Hitler kids smoked weed on 420! Literal genius comedy! <laughs> Honestly, that's that's something I that's something I think is very them. <laughs> Genius! This is why I follow you, Joe. Your humor stylings. Hitler kid. <laughs> I love how that's what the what what they're known as to people is the Hitler kids. It's funny. They're Hitler's children. Their last name, their first and last name is Hitler. <laughs> I think I'm literally Hitler just because my first and last name are Hitler. This is why the left can't meme, because all of their memes are thought-terminating cliches. <laughs> That's my job, to make those. Pizza Tower music. Yes, I have been legally mandated to promote Pizza Tower every time I stream. Because I, I'm I'm it's part of a community service for being cancelled. <laughs> Why was I canceled? Because I said I like Pizza Tower, which is a good a good game, but it's canceled. <laughs> Thank you. 
I need credit for the weird episode exposure and shit. Yeah, but, you know, <coughs> exposure's not worth much, so how about we not even give you that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, have you have you ever thought about that? Like someone saying, like, don't work for exposure. It's it's really not worth anything. But then, like, you don't even get exposure. <laughs> it's like, hey, wait a second. You're telling me I don't even get that really shitty thing that I need. Like. Let me tell you, I have exposure. It doesn't even fucking help. You know, you can you can do you can do whatever you fucking want, and no one will no one will care unless it's dog of wisdom. <laughs> well, you know, you can replace that with something that's just not you. Like dog of wisdom, at least is me. <coughs> If someone told you, like, oh, you'll never get anywhere unless you put boobs in your thumbnail. Those people are wrong. They're, you know, they're just, they're just bitter. They're just turned, turned sour. Um, I don't actually think I need to make Dog of Wisdom. Uh, I just think it's good. <laughs> I think it's good. That's why I made it. That's why we're doing this. In Rick and Morty parody, I make the joke that the only reason to do this is for views. <laughs> but it's only a joke. No one would ever do that. I think, you know, people, people don't understand that... To me, Rick and Morty parody is equal to Dog of Wisdom. <laughs> they think that there's like a good and bad Joe. <laughs> they don't realize that I'm the same asshole making both of these good and bad things. You know, like, I needed a break from this cartoon, so I made some other shit. And now I'm back to it with it almost finished. Can I get an A from the chat? I keep watching you, uh, stuff you make no matter what. I think it's all great. And your unique style is something I resonate with a lot. That's cool. Yup. Well, me too. I resonate with me too. But I'm also, like, unlike you, I can't escape from me. I have to live with myself all the time. <laughs> and my particular brand of, like, insanity it's just never, it's never gone, unless I'm like asleep and my mind is literally off. So it's like, you know. I feel like the art I make is actually just kind of like, it's just kind of like the stuff that's in my head, but in a, you know, more, fr a friendlier <laughs> way of, of 
of you experiencing it than me just like screaming at you. <laughs> you know, Cause I do that shit too. I'll just like be insane and scream. But what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say my art is like my, my thoughts more focused, you know? It's like a laser. It's like, instead of just like <laughs> everywhere, it's like, And even, even my cartoons are extremely, like, unfocused shit. Like, Rick and Morty parody especially had had meanings that I didn't feel like really making apparent or, like, or going into. Um, has there ever been a cartoon that closely resembles your state of mind? Well, yeah, I think all of them. I think they all resemble my state of mind. I think, you know, like... Maybe, maybe certain things are more, like, shocking than others. Uh, but I think, you know, Dachshund in a, in a tiny plane, that's, like, that's the same kind of, like, thing that's just, like, so ridiculous but also satisfying. <laughs> you know? Bro, do you even sleep? Yeah, I got sleep. I'm awake now. Is there a reason why Victor's eyes are red? I mean, they're not red. Look at them. Well, I mean... It's because his sister's eyes are blue. <laughs> That's why. He's got to be different. Just had to be different. I'm getting tired again. Ugh. I should stop working already. But I just started. What's your favorite thing about Pizza Tower? I don't know, the pizza was good and so was the tower. Pretty much the whole game basically was good. Both the pizza and the tower. I can't even pick one good thing about it. Cause 
both of these good things are so intertwined. You know, the story is good. Even though there's no, like, real story, it's, like, basically basic. But it's not like... It's not like there is no story. It's just, like, there's no... There's no dialogue. Um, honestly, I feel like the story is one of my favorite things about it, though. Because <laughs> it's, like... When you think of a video game character and, like, what makes them interesting, it's, like... It like goes, it goes like so deep. It goes deep to like their gameplay. It's like why is why is Mario Italian? Why is he a plumber? And it's like you you question all these things about the character in Pizza Tower. And it's like you know like you kind of get a sense that like um, indie games take the like human player thing literally. Like Undertale, for instance, um, you're the only human in the game. And you're also a human in real life. You know, you're a human player, and they're like, prepare yourself for death, human, we're gonna kill you. You know, like, that's the way they talk to you, like, you're a human. You're actually, you actually are one. And this game kind of does it too, where all the enemies are food, and the humans, like you and Gustavo, are playable. Um, so, like, you know, you can't play as food. Uh, you eat food. <laughs> you destroy food. Speaking of which, I'm gonna destroy this. Maybe I should draw a little face on it first so I can destroy it. Hi, Mia Bird. Aw, he's cute. Oh, he meowed at me. Don't you love him? Turn this into like a pizza tower enemy. How's that? It looks like dust. <laughs> that's that's like what the basic enemies look like in Pizza Tower. They're just like a like a dumb blob of cheese. <laughs> and you know, like Pepito, I'm going to destroy it with all my might. Like that's funny. It's like I don't know why, but. It feels really classic, you know? Video game character is a chef. Hasn't been done. Not since, not since burger time. And it's like, perfect, you know? Italian guy, this is already a classic thing, to have an Italian guy. <laughs> and it's like, you know, with a, with a name like that. Pepino Spaghetti. <laughs> Like, it just makes sense, uh, but like, but like, it, it, you know, you're too young to remember, but Burger Time is very stylistically similar. Um, if you look at the, if you look at the, like, box art, which I think is amazing, Burger Time, that chef is afraid of the food. <laughs> the food is, like, trying to kill him. It's like... I don't know. It's just classic, you know? Yeah, a few times. I like Undertale. I think it's like... Funny fake game. <laughs> you know, that's kind, of, that's kind of the aesthetic that Pizza Tower has. It's like, the fact that it makes references to other games makes it a parody. And a video game being a parody makes you feel for a second like it's not real. <laughs> but it is a real game, actually. 
That's the part I, I was most impressed with by Pizza Tower. That's really fun. It's like, it's not just some fucking shit. <laughs> you know? But it still has that great jokey feeling. Like, it's a funny fake game. Is Audrey and Victor a funny fake cartoon? Yes, exactly. It's a funny fake cartoon. <laughs> Independent is just another word for fake. But, like, Pizza Tower explores this theme of fake versus real, and real, uh, authentic versus imitation, you know. Not only is Pizza Tower an imitation of a Nintendo game, but also Pizza Tower, the villain, is an imitation of Pepino. <laughs> you know, he's the authentic Italian. They're, they're, they're Papa John's with their fucking, like, I don't know what the fuck he said. <laughs> He's just literally insane. Yeah, like, I, I wonder if Papa John inspired Pizza Tower at all, because he's fucking insane. And it's like, the bad guy in Pizza Tower, the story is that he just went insane one day. smiling pizza. Oh no, he's evil now! <laughs> Such a great plot for a video game, I think. <laughs> well, it's like... It doesn't really have to explain why. Uh, because no game really ever explains why the villain is bad. But like... <laughs> Just the fact that they they took enough they took like three seconds to give that backstory. It's funny. You know, they actually gave three seconds to give the backstory that he didn't used to be this way. <laughs> and that's all you really need to know, right? He didn't used to be evil. He's he's evil now. <laughs> you know, like this follows a long line of games, you know, indie and otherwise. Actually, mostly mainstream games, I think, where the villain of the game is, like, surveilling you. He's he's omnipresent. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of games like this in the 2010s, like, like, like Batman, Portal, um... Thank you, McSlenderMan. You get an emoji and a badge. Um, what was I saying? It's like this omnipresent villain, and it's like they do that. They do that in this game where there's there's a motif of TVs everywhere. You know, you're on TV. He's watching you. It's, you know, it's kind of like Portal. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I, I think of Banjo-Kazooie because Gruntilda is, like, always talking to you the same way the Joker and Batman is always talking to you through a loudspeaker. Or, you know, GLaDOS is always talking to you. It's like having, having the villain just, like, sitting there, you know, seething, like, you know, like, let's say the villain is just a, an eye. <laughs> He's like watching you on like a bunch of TVs. This is, you know, your average video game villain now. He's just like an angry guy watching you. And is like watching you win, watching you lose. You know, maybe he's mad when you win. Maybe he laughs when you lose. But either way, it's like he's looking at you. And it's just like you, you, you all the time. <clears throat> and yeah, there's like, I don't know exactly why, because I'm not a game dev, but as a, you know, as a video game player, I can tell there's something good there that like people keep copying this trope because there's something that is really good about it. It's like, you know, the villain, let's, you know, let's, uh, hmm. 
give a spoiler free version of this like you know I love Mother 3 and when you find out who the villain is it's kind of a big reveal um but like yeah that that's one of those villains too where it's like they talk to you over the loudspeaker <coughs> you know like pizza pizza face has a has a there's an element of him like allowing everyone else to do all the work for him like you know, first first there's there's you whose job he's taking away by destroying his business and then there's John who he lets do all the work while he's asleep and you know it's pizza time and he's taking a nap so <laughs> he's letting everyone else worry about everything else Years, Joe. I love these streams. Cool. Angry incel watching you through a screen. Is that supposed to be us? <laughs> um, maybe. I don't know. You're kind of like the one watching them, uh, but you're controlling them. Is the villain controlling them, or is he failing to control you? Now, I wonder that, because, like, something I, something I wonder about Gruntilda is that, like, you know. Does she really hate us so much? She is coming up with all these nice rhymes for us. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, as, as a, you know, I'm not sure who in the video game, I'm not sure who I am, uh, so, you know, games like Earthbound and Undertale have played with that idea. Like, who are you in this game? You know, there's the player, there's the, the good guys and bad guys, but who are you, the, the player, you know, compared to them? Um, but, like, for me, I'm not, I'm not Gruntilda, but I like Gruntilda. I'm like, man, I miss Gruntilda. And then whenever there's a game like that, where it's like, you know, the Joker, whoever is playing that role, it's nice, because it's like, you know, that's a good that's a good way to do a game, where you just have like an insane fucking clown or witch in charge of the controls on the, on the asylum. And it's like, oops, I pressed the wrong button. It's like, I, I don't know, it just works. It's like insane incel, <laughs> angry incel. I mean, he's the one who's the incel. I'm the one who, I guess, empathizes with the incel. <laughs> you know, as a video game player, my life is nowhere near as fun or exciting as Batman's. So, I guess, yeah, I might have a little bit of envy for him and want to be in control of him. And I actually am in control of him as opposed to the Joker who just wants to. But like, I don't know if he even wants to control Batman. He might just want to see what he does. Yeah, that's awesome. 
on. Oh, my turn. Yeah, okay. This, I want a better arc here. <laughs> this, this control alt delete phase. That's how it should feel, because, well, it's just like, um, it's not a fake game, but, like, you'll forget sometimes that it's an indie game, and the game gets away with shit. <laughs> In a funny, fake way, you know what I mean? Uh, like, hmm, what's a good example? I, I think, like, Undertale kind of played with some tropes, and, and we're, like, kind of... Uh, well, like, the beginning of the game is kind of like a long-ass, annoying tutorial, <laughs> and it's done uh, on purpose, as like a joke. <laughs> you know? Like, that sort of shit. It's like, the tutorial doesn't even really teach you anything. It just, like, wastes your time. <laughs> and, and yet, it's also like, there is sort of a lesson about that. Like, oh wait, maybe you should be patient and understand, you know, some of the other things this game is trying to show you. You know, like, some of the... Some of the character moments are, are, you know, they're nice, even if the characters are flawed, you know. So send this to Disney XD and get some voice action. I didn't know what Audrey and Victor was, I just watched the video and I loved them. Oh, cool. Yeah, you just found out about them. That's good, because there's a new one coming. A million things going on. <laughs> I got a lot, you mean on my stream? Yeah, there's always something happening on my stream. Every frame, there's something happening. There's new arrows coming out of the ground, going up like that. <laughs> Yeah, this is a stretched out face, but it's fine because it's one of those poses. It might be on screen for too many frames, is the only thing. Mm, I liked it better before, actually. Oh. Hitler kids. The Hitler kids. That's their name. Kids. 
That's like, you know, you know, Hitler Plus. <laughs> there's a there's a section just for kids called Hitler Kids. On Hitler Plus. Hit leap. Hit leap. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if Hitler and Disney were switched. You'd have Hitler Plus now. There's some some alternate universe where Disney was Hitler. You'd have people freaking out that we have Disney Plus. And people in, from that universe are like, holy shit, don't you know that Disney was Hitler? <laughs> Don't you know that Hitler is good in our universe? Do you know what they call Hitler Plus in their universe? Disney Plus. something in between a baba deep and deep and deep. It's just gonna be like... Oh, hi! There you are. I don't wanna split hairs. Ha 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 ha. talking about what are they talking about live life as if you were living it a second time <clears throat> and acted wrongly the first that's what they're talking about
that is too big.
brain cells doing this shit. to me for so many years. Oh, that's nice of you. It's Thirty dollars. Hey, thank you very much. being so close to the screen for a second. I get 75 viewers at 2.30 a.m., but during the day I have like 50. Feels like there's something on me, like a hair is tickling me. Ah, can't, can't work with this feeling like there's something tickling me. Maybe it's my breath. I might be just like breathing on myself.
Let's not split hairs. Sure. There's only a few frames that it's like really messy that I'll have to refuck, reconfuck, <laughs> rectifuck, reconsider. Christ, man, I didn't realize, I didn't know you did it, all these by yourself. What did you think? Did, what do you mean, all these, these animations? Of course. I mean, if I get some help, then it's like, with backgrounds. But nobody, nobody really worked on this but me. Just for the voices, which are not in yet. be in this one. He's busy. Painting. How long have I been going? An hour? Yeah. Hour 15 minutes. Maybe I'm sleepy again. Maybe I should take another nap. Eh, I'd like to get some more done. This is almost there. to finish it since I still have to retime a lot of it later when the when the audio is there. and let her know or something about being the, uh, you know, just a uh, knee-jerk reaction, I guess. <laughs> like, is it fear? No! <laughs> I have to end the stream again. I'm getting sleepy, but yeah, I'll be I'll be back, and it'll be unannounced, as always. It's funny how their noses appear and disappear randomly. Yeah, I like that too. I don't think it's that funny. I guess I just think it's fine. <laughs> you know, for a close up, it's more necessary. Like, I even added, like, a little bit of detail. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to go to sleep. Oh, I'm tired again. But yeah, like, I add some extra, like, detail on the noses. Well, on one of the noses. <laughs> for this shot. <clears throat> yep, his nose just disappears. Why the fuck not? Yeah, like, funny fake cartoon. Shit you wouldn't be able to get away with. Like them saying, fuck you, Hitler. <laughs> and smoking weed. I think they would smoke weed. Like that. It's funny every time. But it's not a joke. That's why it's funny. Because it's real. Anyway, good night. Let's 
sehr.